This is the Orbi 870. It's a phenomenal Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, and I'm gonna install it in a very big house. So I'm visiting some family. They currently have Spectrum with one gig down and 40 megs per second up, and they're using the Orbi 960, which is a phenomenal Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. But they also recently upgraded and they just added fiber. So currently the Spectrum is live with the one gig down, 40 megs per second up, and I'm gonna run some speed tests to do some before and after. So we'll do a before shot with the 960, and then we'll do an after shot with the 870. And the cool thing is that because now fiber is live, which it's not connected to fiber right now, we'll also do a speed test with the fiber because the fiber connection is two gigs down and one gig up. So, and we'll do a wireless backhaul setup, so it should be very, very interesting. So we got 1.1 down, so better than what Spectrum was rating, and 42 up, basically. So 41 point, if the camera would zoom in on this, then 41.7 up. So we pretty much got easily what Spectrum is providing, thanks to the Orbi 960, phenomenal Wi-Fi 60 mesh system. The Orbi 960 router upstairs is now hooked up to Spectrum, so that's the cable modem, and basically it is one gig down and 40 megabits per second upload. And this satellite is much more optimally placed. And uh, yeah, so it's about, I would say it is upstairs. So it's probably around 25 feet away or so, but getting some solid numbers. And I've actually seen it pass a thousand as well. But I mean, this is already showing you like it's legit. It's very, very good wireless backhaul up to gig speeds. This thing is very, very good. I hooked up this laptop via Ethernet to this wireless backhaul node. So the laptop is capable of going up to 2.5 gigabits and so is the port right here. And currently the RB960 router is hooked up to Spectrum so it's limited to gigabit speeds anyways. We'll kick off a speed test to see how fast this goes. So the RB960 is a phenomenal mesh system. Um, even with wireless backhaul for up to gig speeds, it's insanely, insanely good as long as it's well placed. So we're getting above gigabit speeds right now, as you guys could see, and we should get the full 40 megs as well, as pretty much right there. So there it is. So um, very fast, phenomenal router. And now we're gonna test out the Orbi 870, which is supposed to be even better. Running a speed test on the Orbi 870 while it's hooked up to a Spectrum. This is the cable company and it's out of one gig down and 40 megabits per second upload. We're gonna see what numbers we're getting. So we're getting some solid numbers right now. So we're actually getting better than what they rated us for. So 1189 down and we're getting close to 40 up. 32, okay, it's, it's going a little bit slower on the upload. I'm actually kind of surprised. But 34, okay, so it looks like it ended at right around 34. The Orbi 870 is much more optimally placed. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it is much more optimally placed. And the Orbi 870 router upstairs is sucked up to Spectrum. So it is, again, out of one gig down and 40 megabits per second upload. We're gonna see how fast we could get off wireless backhaul. Now, again, this Orbi 870 is an absolute beast, has zero issues, pretty much getting me those full speeds even on a wireless backhaul node. And, I mean, this is this is one of the beauties of having a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system is that their wireless backhaul speeds are just incredibly fast, as you guys could see. 1164 down, 40.4 up. So I connected the laptop via Ethernet to the Orbi 870 right here. While the 870 is in wireless backhaul, this is fairly well placed. It's not the most optimal position, but it is pretty good overall. So we were able to get really good speeds off Wi-Fi. So I expect to get very good speeds via ethernet when I'm connecting to this wireless backhaul node. Now again, this satellite is still wirelessly talking to the 870 router and the 870 router is hooked up to spectrum. So we are expecting, you know, pretty much gig speeds down and 40 megabits per second upload. So we're gonna see how close we get to those speeds. And obviously we already, we're doing fantastic for the download and we're pretty much getting that for the upload as well. There it is. I connected the Orbi 960 to the fiber internet source right here 
And I'm going to kick off another speed test to see how close we get. So now the internet speeds are out of 2 gigs down and 1 gig up. So let's see how close we get to those numbers off Wi-Fi. I am able to get to it off of the network, off Ethernet. So it looks like we're getting some solid numbers. Okay, so very, very good numbers. So 1876 down, 992 up, next to the router at its source. So we got the satellite and wireless backhaul mode. This is connected to the fiber source. So again, two gigs down, one gig up. It's completely in wireless backhaul mode. We're gonna run off another speed test to see how fast it goes. So getting some solid numbers with this Wi-Fi 6E. So this thing is about, I would say, 25 feet, maybe 30 feet. I mean, it is upstairs. And so about 25-ish feet, 30 feet-ish uh, away from the testing site. So we got some almost gig down and 700 up. So some solid numbers. My Wi-Fi is off on my computer. It is hooked up via ethernet right here to the satellite. And this is where one of the strengths of Wi-Fi 7 is gonna come in, but this is a Wi-Fi 6E router and we're gonna run a speed test and see how fast it goes. Cause you could actually, even though it's in wireless backhaul configuration, you can, let me move this to the left so you guys could see that. See, we even have really low ping at four milliseconds. So we're getting 960, 970-ish um, on the down. And so we've got 972 on the down and we're getting a little above 700, almost 750 uh, for the upload. So we're getting some solid numbers with this thing. So 972 down, 743 up. While, it's, while this laptop is connected via ethernet to this wireless backhaul node. We have the Orbi 870 hooked up to the fiber internet. Again, it's out of two gigs down and one gig up. So let's see how close we get to those numbers. Looks like we're getting close to maxing out. Oh, awesome. We even saw the 2K mark. That's awesome. Okay, so 2002 down. Let's see how close we get to the upload. There it is. Look at that. Amazing speeds. 2002 down, 998 up. So pretty much got the full speeds off Wi-Fi. So let's kick off another speed test on the wireless backhaul node. It is about 25 feet away or so. It is one floor up, so there are a few walls it needs to actually go through. But I mean, look at these numbers. This is in wireless backhaul mode. And this is the beauty of Wi-Fi 7. They are incredibly fast at wireless backhaul, incredibly fast. And I'm comparing this to a very fast router, which is the Orbi 960. Look at these numbers. These numbers are crazy for being in wireless backhaul. So almost just shy of 1900 down and 848 up. Those are some insane numbers for being in wireless backhaul mode. I connected my laptop via ethernet to this wireless backhaul node and I'm going to kick off another speed test with this thing and it should do very well. And this is the beauty with Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems. It's that you don't necessarily need Wi-Fi 7 devices to take full advantage of these things because the wireless backhaul speeds on these devices are just insane. So I have fairly low ping at six. Uh, well, the fiber definitely helps with that. Uh, but we got 1966 down and we're pretty much going to get the full upload. So we're pretty much getting full speeds download and upload. I mean, this is very close to 2000 and that's pretty much very close to a thousand right there. And we can kick off another one just for kicks. I mean, I, I expect to get very similar numbers, a little above, a little below, but it should be solid, solid numbers. And, and again, this is, this is the main advantage that you get with Wi-Fi 7 devices. It's that they're incredibly fast at wireless backhaul. So I actually passed the 2000 mark and this is not the first time. So we're pretty much getting the full speeds, download and upload. And this is the beauty of the Orbi 870. It's an incredibly fast Wi-Fi 7 mesh system that I could literally get my full speeds, whether I have an ethernet coming to this via from the router 
or if this is just, as long as it's close enough, it's about, I would say 25 feet away or so. It is up a level, but I'd say it's about 25 feet away or so. So it is going through a couple walls and uh, yeah, amazing performance. In summary, the differences between these at the cable modem level where we're at gigabit, in fact, a little bit faster than that on the download and the 40 megabits per second upload, there's not too much of a difference between these. However, once we go to the fiber internet with the ONT optical network terminal and we get to two gigs down and one gig up, that's when you start to see the difference between these at the satellite level when they're in wireless backhaul. That's when you start seeing the 870 outshining the 960 and the 960 is not easy to outshine because this thing is a beast of a mesh system, but the 870 outshines it in the wireless backhaul with the satellites and it just gives a better overall faster, just better speeds throughout the home experience. And the interesting part is there's actually an Orbi 970 that's even better than the 870. However, at up to 2.5 gigabit speeds, the 870 is an absolute beast of a mesh system. And that was very easy to tell with all those speed tests that I did. And again, I wanted to put the 870 against 960 because the 960 is not an easy, uh, essentially competition to beat. But with Wi-Fi 7, with MLO multi-link operation, the satellites, when they're in wireless backhaul, you're actually getting really, really, really good speeds. And this thing, this test really just kind of shows that in that case. And with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, like the video, share the video, and smash that subscribe button. If you guys have questions or comments, leave it in the comment sections below, and I'll try my best to respond. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.